Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and welcome to our fourth and final part of making the helicopter fly using scratch programming. All right, where we got up to in part three was, if we click on the green uh, flag here to start, we had our helicopter and we could move it around and fly it around. And we've got some sound happening there as well. All right, let's stop that. Okay, we're not actually going to do any scripting in this part. We're going to look at changing the background. Now, down here, underneath where the sprite is, we've got stage, and you can double click on stage, and that will take you into the stage sprite, which is this big white background. Now, what we can do here is we click on backgrounds tab, and the plain background is just white. Now, we could edit that, just like editing a sprite, uh, get our paint bucket tool here, the fill tool, and go to black, and then click in here with the paint bucket and fill that in black. All right, now you could use some drawing tools here and kind of draw some buildings and a night scene. That's what we want to have, a night scene with a helicopter flying around. We could just have black and change that, and now our helicopter flies around in the dark. Okay, we want to do more than that. What you can do is you can go import here while you're in backgrounds and we can go down to backgrounds in Scratch and let's get some outdoors backgrounds. And the one which is going to be good to use is this city at nighttime. So we'll click on that and say okay. All right, so now we've got a nice little background here. Let's preview that in presentation mode up the top right hand corner here and have a look and so click the green flag to start and our helicopter can fly around the city and so on. Now one thing about this is that the helicopter starts already in the air. Okay, it'd be nice if it started on the ground and then took off. Now how we can do that is we can go back to the helicopter sprite, so we'll click on that. Now, the cool thing is, if we look in the middle of the page here at the sprite, it tells us the X and Y coordinates, all right? The X coordinate is zero and the Y coordinate is zero. So if we go over to our um, animation here, just grab the helicopter and move it, and we'll put it on the ground here. And notice in the X and Y coordinates, it's telling us that they're minus 177 and minus 58 for your X and Y coordinates. So back down here in the script where we're setting the X, let's just change that so it's at minus 177 and we'll set the Y at minus 58. Okay, then when our helicopter starts, if we go over here and click the right hand corner, green arrow, a helicopter's there and we can take off and start flying around the city. All right, now let's go back to backgrounds again. So remember, rather than being clicked on the sprite down the right hand corner here, we click on the stage and click on the backgrounds tab and we can see our backgrounds. Now, what if we wanted to bring in our own background? Okay, we could find a nice picture on the internet and bring that in. Well, the thing is, when you look at these backgrounds, see how they're 480 by 360? That is the standard size in Scratch. So we need to make our background 480 by 360 and save it as a JPEG first. Now to do something like that, we'll need to use uh, Adobe Fireworks or Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going across to Photoshop here and I'll do File and Open and that'll take a little while. Now. Up in the top right hand corner here, just change your view to thumbnails so you can see all the pictures. So I've got a nice picture here that I got off the internet, but it's way bigger than 480 by 360. So I'm gonna open that up. And the first thing we'll need to do is get onto the crop tool, which up the top left hand corner, it's the third one down, and click on that. And we can see this isn't a squarish picture. You notice know, those things in Scratch are always a square. So the first thing we'll do is drag out the crop tool here, make it a lot squarer, and press enter. All right, now we need to resize the image. So up the top here where it's got image, go to image, image size, and click on that. Now at the moment the width 
is 888 and the height is 618. Now usually down in here constrained proportions will be ticked and what will happen there is I'll just show you if we're trying to make it 480 by 360 we'll type 480 in here but to keep it in proportion uh, when we click it's made that 334. All right now we need that to be 360 so what we have to do is we have to go down and untick constrained proportions and because we're not changing this a great amount, it's probably not going to distort the picture. But you need to be careful when you don't have constrained proportions on, you can really distort your picture. So we'll click OK on that. And we've now got an image which is the standard scratch size. So let's do File and Save As. And we want to put that into Helicopter Part 4 folder. And down here with the format, let's make it you might have to use this scroll bar to scroll up. Let's make it just normal JPEG here and we'll give it its name City Night and we'll have 480 by 360 and say save. All right. And here where it's got JPEG options, we'll just give maximum quality cuz it's not going to take up a lot of space and say okay. All right. Now so that finishes uh, our Photoshop work, and now we need to get back into Scratch. All right, now with Scratch, these backgrounds here are kind of taking up space in our project. I'll uh, we'll worry about that in a minute, but let's go to Import. All right, and this time let's go to the computer, and we'll have to navigate down to where that stuff is. It's in the iDrive on my computer in Scratch and Scratch Programming 5. So we've got, um, let's see here, City Night PNG and the big one. And I haven't got the one I saved. So I'll just pause for a minute and check that out. All right, this is a little painful in Scratch because it doesn't give us the full folder names, but this is actually Helicopter Part 4 there. So if we click on that, there's this picture we just saved, City Night 480 by 360. So we'll click on that and say OK. All right, and that's brought that in as our background. If we now click the green flag and try that out, and I have to turn the speakers up so we got some sound here. All right, there's our helicopter flying around. Now, a helicopter is a little bit big for that picture. So remember, you can go onto the helicopter sprite. So I have to change down here onto the helicopter sprite. We can click on it and right click and go resize this sprite. And we'll just make that guy a little smaller. All right, then remember with the starting coordinates, we might have him sort of starting off on the back of this boat on the little helipad there. So we'll need to go to scripts and notice that's at 78 and minus 107. So in here we'll need to change that to 78 and minus 107. All right, and then if we start our animation, the helicopter's there and we can fly all around our city at night with our helicopter. If we've got real skills, we can try and land it back on its pad. All right, which isn't easy. Okay, let's just go back and click on stage here. One more time, go to backgrounds. Now those other two backgrounds, we don't need them anymore and they're kind of taking up space in our project. So I suggest just use the X to delete both of those. Notice it won't let you delete the one you're using, okay? So you can't accidentally mess that up. All right, so let's just have one more look at the final animation with the top right hand corner presentation mode. So click the start button. All right, we can fly all around. So that concludes our tutorials for Scratch for making this helicopter move and using sounds and backgrounds and some other things. So hopefully you've done quite a bit of learning in this and it will help you out when you do your own Scratch projects. Now remember, there will be full details in the YouTube details um, about a link to our website where all of the helicopter tutorials are and as well, there will be screen prints of the script code which you need. All right, thank you very much for watching.